Okay, let's talk about how to record a webinar for GoToWebinar.com. Now, GoToWebinar has its own recording built-in features, but I don't like them, and I, they the times I've tried to use them in the past, they haven't been very um, effective. Uh, they haven't worked, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And so what we do at WebinarBuddy.com is actually record them via screen recording software. And there's two types I want to share with you today. The first is Camtasia by TechSmith. Uh, now I've used ver both versions of Camtasia. They have a Windows version and a Mac version. Now I'll tell you, Camtasia, Camtasia Studio for Windows is very feature rich. It's up to 7.1 like it says today. Uh, Camtasia for the Mac is a little bit newer product for them, but it's still fairly stable and uh, we actually use Camtasia for the Mac at WebinarBuddy.com. Both these are great screen recording and video editing uh, pieces of software. The other for the Mac is um, ScreenFlow. Uh, we've used this too. It's very good software. Again, you can record your screen and edit it via ScreenFlow on the Mac. So you have TechSmith Camtasia for both platforms, PC and Mac, and ScreenFlow for just the Mac. Okay, the next part is microphones. Um, you'll probably want a high quality microphone to use. Um, on webinars, it depends. If you have a very good um, internet connection, you're plugged into internet, uh, not just using a Wi-Fi uh, to, to get, hop on the, the webinar, you could use the built-in go to webinar audio recording and then use one of these mics for great quality broadcasting. We recommend if you don't have a stable internet connection, well you're going to need one by the way because you're screen sharing um, across the internet. But sometimes on backup we'll have we'll tell people to call in using go to webinar's call in function with a landline. But here are three mics. Blue, uh, I personally use this one to great effect, the Snowflake by Blue Microphones. There's three that they have listed here that I'd recommend I've used in the past. Um, if you want a real portable mic, this one can be used for screencasting software, like if you use TechSmith or ScreenFlow. Um, I personally use the Snowflake. I like it. It's very portable. It can be put back up. This is kind of their mid-range one. And then the Blue Microphone Yeti has been used uh, by us in the past. Very good stable microphone but not very portable. Amazon.com you can see those prices there. Okay next so once you've recorded your webinar and edited it using actually TechSmith or Screen uh, ScreenFlow now you need to figure out how to post those to the web. Video hosting is a very dicey subject today. I'm going to give you three options and tell you which one's my best with a caveat. Vimeo.com is an excellent, my favorite video hosting uh, platform. However, if you're doing commercial videos, meaning you're, you've got products in your video that you're talking about, uh, if you're selling something in the video, it violates their current terms of service. But if you don't, you know, aren't selling something, Vimeo.com is by far my favorite cheapest most affordable video hosting platform I'd highly suggest you look at their um, premium plus is what it's called plus membership here for sixty dollars a year it's absolutely phenomenal so with that one caveat you don't uh, Vimeo is my favorite now let me tell you about two other options of course the second one is you know about YouTube now the downfall with YouTube is if you're trying to sell membership videos YouTube is public and I know they have privacy settings, but it's not my favorite for membership type sites. Also, there is limits on how long the videos can be. Now, my account has been uh, enabled to give me more minutes for my upload videos. But YouTube is a good platform if you're trying to do uh, get your videos widespread. YouTube, as you might know, is the second largest search engine in the world behind Google. Now it's owned by Google, but that means that people go to YouTube to search videos out. So YouTube for your free videos and your promotional videos, like we do at WebinarBuddy.com, uh, is a great place to upload those and then embed them. The third option is Wistia. I'm hearing a lot about Wistia, um, a great looking platform here uh, that we're going to be trying and reviewing and demoing. But their plans are very attractive, some of the most affordable I've seen for video hosting because video hosting still is so expensive to do. 
Vimeo eats a lot of the cost, and so does uh, obviously YouTube. They subsidize that through advertising. Wistia.com is something you might want to check out. And so there's some tips about how to record, edit, and actually upload um, recordings of your webinar videos.